my name is Holly Strohmeyer. I'm from Strathfield campus in Sydney and I have come to South America for World Youth Day. South America has been the most amazing journey and it's only day two of that actual pilgrimage and we're sitting here in missionary, doing missionary work for the people of Lima and it's such an incredible experience. Coming over from Sydney and never having left Australia has been the most amazing experience. I've never even imagined that it would be anything like this. Flying over South America, uh, we first flew over the Chilean Alps and it was all snow on the on the mountains and I've never seen anything more incredible. It's been the most beautiful scenery and the people are amazing. Coming into Peru, which is our first stop, driving through the city, I was expecting the city to be um, more um, just like uh, richer in um, similar to Sydney, however just more rich in history. However, driving through the streets, it was it was very run down compared to our city, but it just, the people just bring an absolute joy, like when you speak to them and get to know them, there's so much love and so much, um, they have such a strong faith and love for, um, for God and the community and each other, and it's so beautiful just getting to know the people. Um, coming, uh, yesterday we went, um, and we went. We found out history about the um, the religious history of Lima, and we went through the Inca markets, and we went out for dinner at a cultural restaurant, which was absolutely amazingly fun. And we all got. We're all getting so much closer, and it's so and it's so good to meet new people and get so close to them. Um, coming today, which was, which was missionary, I was so excited. I've always wanted to do missionary, and I was so happy to be given the opportunity to come here. And you always. You always hear about poverty and you see pictures, but it's not until you actually arrive here and see it for yourself and drive through the towns that you really realise what it is like. And it opens your mind, it opens your heart, and the people are so beautiful. They just love, they love what they have because it's what they know. And they take nothing for granted, the littlest things, like a, like a little child with a, sh uh, with a piece of string. Um, is just she was just so happy to have that piece of string and to see us coming into her village and building a chapel and it, it just makes you so grateful for what you do have in your family and everything that you are provided with and the people that are surrounding you I couldn't have imagined it to be any more amazing and and the people that I've been blessed to come here to South America from Australia with a uh, beautiful people and are so welcoming and open and the people who have been with us I couldn't imagine anything better if you look around and you can't see the end of poverty it's just over the mountains and there's just it's you can't see the end of it and you look around and it's surrounding you but there's children here who have finished school and they're playing on the sports ground and they are so happy and overwhelmed with joy and it makes us so happy and and I can't believe that I am in a position where I can help them by giving them a place to go and to share their faith with each other and with and to grow spiritually just like they are helping me to do the same they I expected to come here and to help the children and to help the families but they are helping me because I just feel so attached to it because I'm getting to know them and I'm getting to work with people that I'm growing closer with and I couldn't imagine anything better. I can only imagine, this is day two, so I can only imagine what the rest of the experience and the next uh, two and a bit weeks are going to be like. It's just going to be magical because it already is and I've already grown so much and so much more than I ever would have imagined too.